Hello, we are Accelerating Science Next Generation Science Standards. For our presentation, we chose value, techniques to gain customer insights, testing, and measuring your value proposition hypothesis. We chose this one because it seems to be the weakest point of our project. We struggle to find new and unique ways to gain customer insight and measure our value proposition hypothesis, so we are gaining knowledge each week as we do more research. We are continuing to do interviews and are being provided with great insight from our interviewees. We hope to use our new gained knowledge and skills to create and enforce a new science curriculum that will be used in all schools K-12. That way, all students are learning subjects and concepts at the same pace. We have found that there are low science standards in elementary schools and that the current standards are sometimes not even enforced. The value of our project lies in adding improved science standards to the curriculum in public elementary schools in order to improve children's overall education and engagement in school. At the same time, students will be better prepared for future courses and the workforce, which has an increasing number of STEM jobs. In fact, STEM-related occupations are projected to grow to more than 9 million between 2012 and 2022. Science education needs to be improved in the United States, as we fall below the OECD average for STEM education, with 15 to 20 countries outranking us. Part of this is due to teachers feeling unprepared to teach science courses. In a survey conducted by the National Science and Mathematics Education, only 44% of K-2 teachers felt they were well prepared to teach science, compared to 86% who felt well prepared to teach reading. Teachers are not the only ones suffering from outdated science standards. Students are too, with only 20% of K-3 students and 35% of students in grades four through six having access to daily science instruction. Tracking progress is essential when implementing a new program. Collecting data allows for the tracking of our program's growth in schools, as well as the production of quantifiable data. We can use this data to justify our project's use in schools. This collection of data also lets us look for possible problems in our project's implementation. By identifying common problems, we can work to solve said problems. Tracking progress also lets us see our results over a period of time, such as a student's test scores in STEM classes or grades on an end-of-course test. The State Board of Education has revision meetings every few years that are based on data such as this. We wish to emulate them by collecting and analyzing data in order to track our overall progress. As we test and measure results for the implementation of the next generation science standards, we want to make sure that we're measuring both quantitative and qualitative data. This will give us both tangible data of if grades are improving, as well as the feelings of those affected by the curriculum change. Our qualitative data will include surveys and interviews of teachers, students, parents, and administrators. We don't want this to cause more work for teachers, as that was a common concern we presented our pitches in the past. We will utilize surveys to ensure that teachers are satisfied with the new standards. We will also use teachers' evaluations of their students to see if overall classroom engagement increases with the addition of these standards. We will examine our quantitative data through a number of methods. This includes more testing and tracking the students' performance in STEM classes and comparing their test scores and grades to other states' respective test scores and grades. Although another mandated test may sound stressful, we believe it would be the best way to measure the effectiveness of the next-gen science standards. We would also compare the students' test scores and grades to previous classes before the next-gen science standards were implemented. Our quantitative data is crucial in that we need to be sure that implementing the next-gen science standards is effective in increasing elementary STEM education and furthering our youngest students' interest in STEM-related fields. In conclusion, by choosing the topic of value, we have helped fulfill the weakest point in our solution, how to measure its successfulness. We know that science education is a problem in North Carolina, which is seen in the data previously stated. Implementing next-generation science standards has been proven to improve science education, as 44 states have made the switch to these standards. In order to prove that it will be successful, we will need to collect data over time after the implementation of these standards. We found that through collecting qualitative and quantitative data, it will provide a well-rounded answer 
as to whether or not our solution is effective. Collecting this data will not only provide insight from teachers and students, but it will allow us to look at how implementing new standards will affect schools and test scores over time.